This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to the first uh, webinar on the Project Libre project management solution. You can join the community at www.projectlibre.org. There are well over 100,000 uh, project managers around the world that are part of the community and interact. This is the first video. We're going to run through some of the basics. And what I'll show you is how to create a project and continue on with that with some more advanced. So I'm going to start and create a project. I'm going to call it the demo project. I'm going to call myself Mark O'Brien as the manager. I'm one of the two co-founders of Project Libre. And when I come to here, you can see forward schedule where we can give it a date to, to start the project. If I deselect that, it changes the finish date. So we can give that a, a date uh, for the project to, to finish, and it'll tell us when we need to start that. But I'll use forward schedule. <clears throat> What's not going to be today, I'll do tomorrow. And I'll add some notes saying this is a demo project. But you can obviously add more descriptive terms. When you enter the pane, you'll see a spreadsheet pane on the left, and you'll see the Gantt chart on the right. You can resize the screen or you can send it back. You can also change what the uh, the spreadsheet parameters are by right-clicking in this top corner here. But I'm gonna add some quick uh, tasks here. Uh, summary project, and then I'll say design. Development. Document uh, this and test it. Then we'll do a, uh, a rollout milestone. And what we can do is we can give it uh, different durations. So what I can do is say this is a 10 day duration. I can say development is 10 day. This is just for illustrative purposes. I can say documents a five day duration. Test is also a 10 day duration and milestones are zero duration milestones. You can see that the, uh, the question mark next to it is an estimated duration. I'll show you later in a further video how you can make that an actual uh, duration for you. If I highlight these tasks, I can do a few things. I can link them and I'll link them in serial. And I can also indent them to create a summary project task and you can see that I can collapse that. Very useful on large projects to be able to collapse different areas. So that was auto linking with the prede predecessor relationship. However, <clears throat> if I think uh, development and documentation can occur simultaneously, let me edit that. When I click on the link, you can see that the different uh, link types, I can have uh, tasks finish at the same time with finish to finish, and do a serial with finish to start, um, do start to finish or start to start where they start simultaneously. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this link and you can see the project change. And what I'm going to say is design is a predecessor. If I click in that bar and right click and then drag to document, you can see that I'm setting up that relationship. Now documentation and development are occurring in parallel. If I do the same thing and link them, you can see the critical path schedule has now been established. So the longest path through this project is the critical path. It's in red. Non-critical tasks, which is documentation, are in blue. I can also come through and save a baseline for this. Um, there's many baselines you can save, but I'm going to use just an initial baseline on the entire project. And when I do so, you're going to see that there's a little gray line below. If I, in fact, put the cursor in the task and move it, you are going to see a couple things occur. One is the baseline is now deviated from the actual schedule. And you'll also see an icon here, which if you cursor over, the task has a start no earlier than constraint. And we'll also talk about constraints later. But essentially, at this point, we have a project schedule and you can see that the critical path has not changed and the milestone has not changed either. If in fact we were to move a critical path task, you can see that the milestone has now in fact changed. If on any of these things you wanna go back, we have undo and redo. I can click this uh, red button and you can see that the uh, task has moved back. I can hit undo again 
and in fact, we're back at our, our initial state. This conference will now be recorded. And again, we have our, our project scheduled there. We can actually come through and I'll show a few other views and then we'll go on to another video that follows up on this. But the network diagram shows the flow of tasks through there. You can see design proceeds, development and documentation, which are predecessors to test, which throw the through the milestone. And you can see the finish and start dates and the durations on the network diagram. So this is the, the, the end of our first uh, video on Project Libre. There will be a whole set of those. Again, you can join the community at www.projectlibre.org. And we look forward to having you join.